So today we're taking a look at the top picks for me in 2021 and there's 10 earbuds that we're going to look at today and honestly there are just so many great earbuds and very few spots to fill. But nevertheless here's my top pick and do note that there is no specific ranking to these earbuds. They are just my top picks for 2021 from the cheapest to the most expensive and which one I really prefer. So if you're interested in the full review I have a playlist all on these earbuds tagged over here so you can check them out after this video and and in this video, we're going to go through why these earbuds are some of my favorites and then you can see whether or not to get them. Finally, all the links of these products will be down in the description below. So definitely use the link and it will help out the channel a lot. So let's get on with the top 10 favorite earbuds of 2021. Starting off from the bottom, the cheapest earbuds that I like in 2021 is definitely a QCY T13. And QCY makes one of the best budget earbuds in the market, of course with Heritage from Xiaomi. They are one of the best when it comes to budget earbuds. Coming in at only about 83 Malaysia Ringgit or about 20 US dollars, you're going to get quite decent specs and sound quality for these earbuds. So design wise, these are going to be your standard stem style earbuds with the AirPods Pro style ear tips and they fit me really well and they're very super comfortable to wear. The case is also very nicely made with a very high quality finish and the only thing that I don't like about this earbuds is the new QCY logo. Features wise, you're going to get Bluetooth 5.1 with AAC and SBC Kodak with IPX4 water resistant rating, meaning you're gonna get splash and sweat resistant. And for earbuds at this price point, it's actually super good. It comes with an impressive eight hours of battery life at about 50% volume and a total of 32 hours extra with the case. Sound quality on this is also plenty solid with good rumbling bass, pretty good controls of the mids and highs as well. Really makes this an easy pair of earbuds to recommend. So that's my first pick, the QCY T13. So the next earbuds that I'm gonna highly recommend is the Soundpeats Air 3. And it's one of the best AirPods alternative or half in-ear earbuds in the market right now. And personally for me, I've rated this higher than the Tronsmart Onyx Ace, which held the title for the longest time. So these earbuds are only 50 US dollars or about 209 Malaysia Ringgit. Really isn't a lot of money considering all the tech you're getting as well as the performance you're getting. So these earbuds are really nicely made uh, and since this is the third iteration of these earbuds, they do feel more polished than the rest. Comfort wise, they are very good since they do not sit inside your ear canals. So if you have sensitive ears, this style of earbuds definitely suits you well. So spec wise, these comes with Qualcomm's flagship QCC3040 chipset with Bluetooth 5.2, supporting Aptex Adaptive, Aptex AAC and SBC codec. Comes with IPX5 water resistant rating so you can use them under light rain. You're also going to get in-ear detection on these earbuds. Battery life, you're going to get about 5 hours with these earbuds. Again, this is at 50% volume and about 10 additional hours with the case. Not the longest, but they do get from 0 to 100% in about 90 minutes. So sound quality is good for a half in-ear earbuds. Bass is subtle, but definitely punchier than many others in the same range. And clarity is also very good. So this sounds and is rated to be one of the best AirPods alternative for myself for 2021. So if you're looking for something that sits outside of your ears and don't want something that goes into your ear canals, then definitely take a look at the Soundpeats Air 3. So going up the price range just a little bit, uh, it's also QCY. And if you fancy the QCY T13, but one slightly more feature, then the QCY T11S is definitely for you. Coming in a slight premium than the T13. So the T11S comes with upgraded specs at 43 US dollars or about 189 Malaysia Ringgit. So the T11S is very similarly shaped with the T13. So you're gonna get that comfort for sure. Physical differences compared to the T13 is that you're gonna get an in-ear sensor here that the T13 doesn't get. And other than that, it's mostly internal changes. So you're gonna get a Qualcomm Bluetooth 5.2 chipset here. Uh, that supports Aptex. The water resistant rating is also higher than the T13 at IPX5. So you're going to get rain protection as well. But the most notable ones here is you're going to get a dual driver setup here. So you're going to get a dynamic driver for all your full range action for your low ends as well as a balanced armature driver to drive your mids and highs. 
Battery life is not that impressive here at 5 hours uh, and 30 additional hours with the case. And honestly, what QCY lacks here in battery life definitely makes up in sound quality. Speaking of that, the sound quality from QCY is again very apparent here with good strong bass. And because of that balanced armature driver, these earbuds sound crisp and high quality. Definitely an upgrade to the T13. So if you like the T13 but fancy a little bit more feature, then this one is for you. So moving on to another earbuds around the 50 US dollar price range, the reason you get the Edify TWS1 Pro over the T11S is the battery life and Edifier is very good at that. Just slightly more expensive than the T11S at 199 Malaysia Ringgit or about 50 US dollars. The Edifier TWS1 Pro is one that I often recommend if anyone is looking for something around that 50 US dollars price range. You're gonna get the iconic Edifier in-ear style earbuds from their original TWS1 series and it sits comfortably in your ears for all day comfort and only if you have very small ears else this would fit you perfectly and this earbuds would wouldn't hurt that much even with long hours of use. Most of the time you're going to be very happy with the comfort here. So specs is also very good considering that this is an early release in 2021, one of the very first few earbuds that I've tested this year. So you're going to get the Qualcomm 3040 chipset here with Bluetooth 5.2, aptX Adaptive, AAC and SBC codec. You're also going to get impressive IP65 dust and water resistant so you'll be able to use this even when it starts to rain. One of the most impressive thing about this efficient chipset is the insane battery life and at about 50% volume you're going to get about 12 12 hours of battery life and a total of 42 hours together with the case. Edifier also gives you extreme charging speed and will charge the earbuds up from empty in only 40 minutes. Finally, sound quality here is nice and natural. Uh, you're not going to get insane bass with these earbuds, but they are sufficiently nice sounding without being too overpowering to the other frequencies. So mids and highs here are also great and they are overall a pair of very fantastic earbuds. So that's the TWS1 Pro. So going up a price point to about the 80 to 100 US dollars mark, we have the Soundcore Live P3. And for anyone looking for an ANC earbud that works well at this price point, I'll definitely recommend these earbuds. So the earbuds come with a stem style shape and is super comfortable to the ears. Uh, they have a clamshell style case, which is very small and easy to carry around. And it comes in a whole bunch of colors to match your lifestyle. So the earbuds only comes with Bluetooth 5.0 with AAC and SBC support. But don't be fooled because Soundcore knows a thing or two about sound tuning and this earbud sounds amazing. You get a lot of technology here with the bass up technology, six beam forming mics, wireless charging, multi-mode ANC, ambient mode and even an app that has many great features. So you can check out my full review for all the details about these earbuds. So the battery life for these earbuds for an ANC earbuds is nothing but impressive coming in at 6 hours for the earbuds and 24 additional hours with the case. So you're going to get insane quick charging as well where 5 minutes of charge gets you 3 hours of battery life. Sound quality wise, you're going to get the legendary Soundcore sound tuning and you can even play with them in the app to customize it to your style. So if you're at the US $80 mark, definitely check out the Soundcore Live P3. So the Buds 3 Pro is another earbuds around the 100 USD price point and it's one of the most polished Redmi earbuds that I've seen. These are not your typical budget-friendly earbuds but Redmi has put in lots of great touches to make these earbuds stand out and feel premium. So if the stem style Live P3 is not something you fancy then this in-ear style earbuds is definitely next on your list. Coming in at about 70 US dollars or about 280 Malaysia Ringgit this earbuds has plenty to offer. With a Bluetooth 5.2 chipset with AAC and SBC support, they are pretty modern and should suit most of your music use cases. You're gonna get really good specs here as well with gaming mode, ambient mode, wireless charging, in-ear sensor and this time, two device multi-point. So this is definitely a steal. Battery life is not the strong suit here with these earbuds uh, with ANC. So you're going to get 3 hours uh, with 11 additional hours with the case. So not something mind-blowing. However, sound quality on these totally is not cheap sounding because Redmi has a lot of influence from Xiaomi. And sound tuning here is also tuned towards giving you a full all-round enjoyment of all the sound's frequencies. Did I also mention that this is one of the most beautiful and polished earbuds from Redmi? 
So the next earbuds here in line, of course, is everybody's favorite earbud, the Edifier TWS NB2 Pro, coming in at about 95 US dollars or about 389 Malaysia ringgit. This one is a very few top tier Edifier products you can buy, and anyone who has gotten them before loves them and recommends them. Comfort wise, these are amazing with that AirPods Pro style design of the ear tips, uh, which is one of the most comfortable fit ever on any earbuds. So although you won't get state of the art specs here, but they are pretty good in their performance despite not having modern chipsets. You're gonna get Bluetooth 5.0 here with AAC and SBC support, uh, IP54 dust and water resistant, meaning you're gonna get sweat and splash resistant most of the time. And you're gonna get adjustable ambient mode gaming mode, great ANC performance, 3D soundstage, in-ear sensor, and also a great companion app. Battery life here is also impressive at 7 hours with ANC uh, at about 50% volume and 18 additional hours with the case. You're gonna get quick charging here, so 15 minutes gets you 2 hours of extra juice. Finally, sound quality here is one of the nicer ones from Edifier, combining the bass performance of the TWS5 and the clarity of the TWS6. So you're gonna get best of both worlds here, all from one single driver. Which means that tuning here is spot on from Edifier. Don't forget you can also change it up in the app if you want something different. So that's the TWS MB2 Pro and if you still really fancy these earbuds, these are still very relevant in 2021. So after checking out the TWS NB2 Pro, of course the next natural selection is the Edifier Neo Buds Pro. And moving up one tier, so this is about 129 US dollars or about 550 Malaysia Ringgit. The Neo Buds Pro is one of Edifier's latest Kickstarter successes and it's basically an improved version of the TWS NB2. And this time it comes with high res wireless for all your audio enthusiast needs. Design here is ultra iconic. Of course, you're gonna get the NB2 uh, design, but with higher end materials like aluminium and a Mass Rider style ambient light at the front, which also acts as the battery indicator. Uh, the original Neobuds Pro comes with LHDC support and subsequently got upgraded with LDAC support as well. So if you have a compatible device streaming audio file great tracks, then this earbuds is definitely for you. Specs wise, it's pretty similar to the NB2 Pro with Bluetooth 5.0 but comes with high res codecs, IP54 water resistant rating and gaming mode as well. So battery life here is typical to most of your ANC earbuds at about 5 hours at 50% volume and 15 additional hours with the case. So you're gonna get fast charging here too so 10 minutes of charging will give you 1 hour of juice. And one big difference here compared to the MB2 Pro is the dual driver setup now. So you're gonna get a nice dynamic driver to power all your bass notes and a nose balance armature driver to drive all the mids and highs resulting in a super high quality audio quality from a wireless earbuds. So if you missed the Kickstarter campaign, so now this is available to purchase in Shopee or Lazada. So do check out my links below to get yourself one. So at our number nine spot, earbuds in this list, uh, we're going up market a little bit here and it's no other than the 170 US dollar or 720 Malaysia Ringgit Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro that we've recently looked at. So this is a controversial one because many think that this is not on par or better than the Sony and honestly I still stick to my view because it's not that much different compared to the flagship XM4s and they both are really very good earbuds but the reason I think this is better is because the overall package better build quality, a tiny bit better in the ANC department, just a tiny bit, better unboxing experience, better comfort, and most importantly, a cheaper price. So that's why I've rated them so high compared to the XM4. Technology wise, you're gonna get a lot here with Bluetooth 5.2, LDAC support for high res audio, AAC and SBC. You also get technologies like ACAA 2.0, which I explained in my full review, so you can check it out there. You're gonna get here ID, personalized ANC, six mics AI uplink noise reduction, two device multipoint, wireless charging, and an in-ear sensor. So if all of those capabilities at this price point doesn't entice you, then I'm not sure what will. Battery performance is also good at 6 hours at 50% volume and additional 18 hours with the case. You're also going to get sound cores insane quick charging so 15 minutes of charging will give you 3 hours of juice. Sound quality is also superb with sound cores legendary sound signature and EQ tuning so you're basically getting the best of the best for a lot cheaper price. So that's the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro. 
And finally, the most expensive earbuds in the range here for 2021 definitely is still going to go to the Sony WF-1000XM4. So if you have the budget for high-end earbuds, then I have to recommend getting the Sony because you're honestly getting the best of the best for this price. So the only thing about the Sony is the build quality and design, which I personally think doesn't fit the 280 US dollars price point. Do remember that these earbuds are quite large and honestly I'm someone with quite large ears so this still managed to press against my ears to give me some discomfort after a while. But technology wise you are definitely not short change here because Sony give you their V1 processor with Bluetooth 5.2, LDAC support, AAC and SBC. You're gonna get high res wireless playback with these earbuds as well. You're gonna get IPX4 water resistant rating which is good for splash and sweat resistant. And apart from that, you're also going to get four noise cancelling mics, foam ear tips, wireless charging, speak to chat, adaptive ANC, DSEE Extreme, bone conduction sensor, and beamforming mics, in ear sensor, and companion app that lets you control almost anything you want for these earbuds. So, sound quality here is also very nice, and if you use very high quality audio to playback, definitely does impress me with any genre of music that you can throw at it. And if you have the cash to splash for a shiny new earbuds like this, and if you want the best of the best at this price point, then Sony is definitely the one for you. So there we go. This is the number 10 uh, on the list. Of course, it's the most expensive one, uh, the Sony WF-1000XM4. So honestly, there are so many earbuds that I've reviewed in 2021 and up to writing of this list, I've reviewed over 126 products, but this list is surprisingly easy to make because these are the earbuds that left an impression on me throughout the year. And they have always been at the top of my list. So there you go. Hopefully this helped you make the decision for what earbuds to buy in 2021. And with that, I'll leave the links to all of these earbuds at the description below. So click into any one of them. And if this video helped you, hope you can support the channel by pressing the like button and consider subscribing to this channel and i'll see you in the next video